and we're back. Um, so yes, after after ten minutes of of probing and poking, uh, Professor Zell sort of turns to you, uh, and he says, "What do you have here, my friends? Is very dangerous." We are quite aware. I don't think you are. Uh, and he he basically he in he he baffles you with a lot of arcane magic terms for a few minutes, uh, which I won't baffle you with for the sake of making life easy. Um, but. The general gist of what you get from what he tells you is that um, because of the way that this shard has been crafted and manipulated, it has a very, very powerful magical enchantment on it. Um, in that uh, whoever created this shard can uh, basically scry this crystal, <coughs> um, basically allowing uh, whoever planted this enchantment to see everything that's going on within 60 feet of this crystal at any time that they wish. They're basically aware of its... Uh, as long as it's not sealed away, they're aware of exactly where it is on whatever plane of existence. Yes, and that's why we need a seal or something to keep its powers in check. I mean, ideally, we could just destroy it. Yeah. Mm, that wouldn't be ideal. Uh, I think it would be ideal. The moment you mention the idea of destroying it, he says, I'm afraid that will be considerably more difficult than the usual process. Wraith glass, in and of itself, uh, the innate properties of it can be can be blocked, can be prevented by magic. But the amount of magical manipulation that this artifact has been through, the only way to remove the enchantments that have placed on it, the the enchantments placed on it have been cast by a wizard. Uh, Perhaps not even by a wizard, by a a being that is far more powerful than any magic that I myself would know how to undo, and presumably many of my peers would know how to do. The only way to destroy this is to physically destroy the object, and that has to be done on the Shadowfell. Lovely. <clears throat> what can be done containing it, then? Locking out the magic on a more permanent basis. Containing it is difficult. The the very nature of the Shadowfell is that it it drains positive energy from any enchantment uh, placed on a box surrounding this uh, would fade unless it was continually reapplied. You'd you essentially would have to have a a, a wizard uh, sustaining this uh, every day of the week, more than likely. Mm. I'm I'm amazed that this held so as long as it did. Perhaps. Do you well? You could. We could use the shard to find a temporary portal. Through the shadow fell, right? Yes, you you would certainly be able to do that. If we went in and destroyed it, would the portal or or, or whatever node also be destroyed? He thinks or to himself for a moment uh, before speaking, and he says, "Depending on how the portal was opened, potentially not." Some places are particularly cl 
close to the shadow fell. Usually <clears throat> where some some terrible catastrophe has occurred where many lives have been lost or where ghosts wander back and forth and these places are are weaker and can be traversed far more easily than trying to open a portal okay. using conventional means. Let's and let's say, uh, or perhaps if we opened a portal and found a a piece of grave shard that wasn't enchanted and brought that back, that could that could, and then, or I guess we could just. Well, actually, we don't even need to. We could if, just leave you the could shard in the shadow pearl. If you could <clears throat> find an area where where the sh the borders between the shadow fell and the material plane were were weak enough, you could come and go as you pleased, essentially. Yeah. Oh, it's just in case we found a place where we needed the crystal to specifically open it, a gateway. But I guess that would. I guess uh, that is the better option, the safer option. In theory, yes. Once, once on the shadow fell, is it as simple as destroying a crystal, uh, any other crystal, or is it, is it again a special means once on the shadow fell of destroying it? Difficult to say. Once again, this this crystal has gone through a huge amount of. Uh, of tra transformative energy. I I do not know if conventional means would be able to destroy it in quite the same way. And I have one, f one last question. If we were to leave it in the shadow fell, would it become a... Uh, would it basically spy on this world in, or this plane instead? No. The, the way a Wraith Glass Shard works is um, it sees uh, as much as uh, f say for example where you w were you to pick it up right now you could you would see a small window into the shadow fell were you to take it yes. to the shadow fell you would see a small window into the material plane ah uh, yes that was what I meant uh, but it, it it would not have the the same power or scrying effects that it has when it is on the material plane when it was on the shadow fell. Okay. So if all else fails, we could basically just abandon it in the shadow fell. Certainly, although it does concern me that whoever placed these powerful wards would were it to be placed on the shadow fell, they would know its location. They Retrieving it would be an easy task, and then it would be a simple case of passing it through another door and finding another hapless person to carry it. I guess that it's true. Our only option then is getting to the plane, getting to the shadow fell, to destroy it there by some means. Well, then, I guess there's two, well, two more things left. You wouldn't. Would you happen to know a specialist in the Shadowfell? Otherwise, that could like tell us, or could you tell us where we could find like the weak spots, and or perhaps someone else who knows how to destroy it once we get into the Shadowfell. How to destroy the shard? That's a bunch of questions, actually. Yeah, he 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 ponders your questions briefly and says. I feel that it, were, you, were you to attempt to destroy this thing on the Shadow Fell, you would need um, you'd need to oppose it with a a, 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 a polarized energy source. Um, the Shadow Fell is a is a plane of negative energy, so um, directing a, a a huge force of positive energy at it would potentially undo it. Uh, much more effectively than merely smashing it. Uh, any uh, a, a powerful cleric or paladin would probably be able to produce the energy needed to be able to destroy it. 
wouldn't the enchants, uh, enchantments absorb the magic, however? Since it's absorbing magic now. Arcane and divine magics work in vastly different ways. The way th the way this currently works is um, it uh, it merely takes the the energy out of uh, out of my magic. Um, were you to take it to the Shadowfell, where its uh, its natural protection is is weaker, and blast it with a huge deal of positive energy, it would uh, it well it would be like uh, taking a uh, a hot knife to a snowball. Hmm. It would attempt to to absorb the energy, but it could not possibly contain it all. Think anybody else got any question? Were you <coughs> were you to attempt to to locate a place the shadow fell? You would have to go a long way from here. Well, I guess we'll. I guess we will have to find a way. We'll probably have to make this journey. Was there somewhere specific that you had in mind, or that you have in mind? Not especially. All I know is that you could not do it here in the city. Mm. Um. And he he. He looks kind of uncomfortable as he says this next part. He says, um, as with as with everything, there is uh, for everything that exists in the material plane, there is a, a mirror in the Shadowfell. Uh, for for every mountain, there is a mountain. For every ocean, there is a an ashen dust bowl. The mirror to this, our great elven civilization, is a place of great <clears throat> evil. A city that is known only as the Evernight. Mm. Were you to pass through to the Shadowfell here, you would find yourself placed directly into the upper strata of the Evernight, and that is not a fate I would miss on any more. Mm. Well, thanks for the heads up. If I recall correctly, I remember um, someone mentioning there would that there were teleportation services in this, like, in this uh, city? A teleport circle? Yes. Yes, that would work. That, that would help uh, us on our journey, if we can locate or, like, uncover a location for us to... Yes, I could... I could certainly have it arranged to... Have you teleported perhaps to... One of the academy outposts, or yes, no, that's that sounds like an excellent solution. Because then we, yeah, at least I hope that will work. I see no reason why it shouldn't. Well, very well. Where, where are these? Where where is this located in the city? Uh, there is there is one such circle uh, here in the academy on the uh, on the upper levels. It, okay. it would take me some time to uh, bring the, the necessary members together to to authorize a, such a transportation and, uh, and prepare the the necessary ritual, but uh, it could be done. Very well. And then I believe there is another another matter entirely. The would you like to bring it up? <clears throat> uh, what? About the tank? You were... Well, p part of the reason we came here was 
for you to find answers as well. Oh, yeah. Um, but isn't that connected to all the Rave Shard things? You don't oh, need perhaps. to know that. But... Yes, but you have, you have no idea how at the moment. Okay. And that. Um... But merely letting these academics know that the two may be connected yeah. is information that they don't have. Uh, well, I will sort of bow first, and I will say, um, I'm V from the Ashen Grove of Nana. Uh, my mother has fallen sick. We believe it may have something to do with this, this spreading disease and the wave shard. How so? I, f I think in multiple places, trees are beginning to get infected. They cause the dryads that are connected to them to lose their minds. I presume you tell him about the, the similar effects that you experienced yeah. underneath the Silver Book Spring, and that's where you found the Wraith Guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, basically, as you as you regale this tale, he's sort of... He's, he's nodding and thinking to himself, and, like... He uh he grabs like basically like a, a pen and uh, a quill and pad from uh the nearby and starts writing things down as you say this. Uh and he says That is fascinating. We had heard of of this blight and I must admit we hadn't given it all that much thought, but the idea that they may be connected in some way. It would almost certainly mandate some form of academy stuff. I don't suppose there's any short-term solutions. This was indeed caused by some Shadowfell effect. There must be a conduit. Um, something that allows the Shadowfell to to leak through into these places of power. Wait. Okay. This shard was one of those places where the powers leak through. Yeah, that's perhaps. That's... Perhaps there's more shards <laughs> out there. Perhaps In our someone grove? has. It's possible. Well, would you have? Well, like, think about it. This this shard was very conveniently placed. It's handmade, or well, at least not handmade, but at least it's crafted to a certain standard. So, why? Why wouldn't there be someone spreading the crystals out there? Because it, it, this can hardly be a coincidence. Then, then my whole family is in danger. I suppose they would be. I'm going to take a moment to sit down. <laughs> those, those of you who are thinking about this, you do remember that every time that you've come across this, it has always been localized to a certain area. It, it doesn't spread like a disease. It forms around a central point. Like it, it, it spreads out from a, from a center point, and then all, it, it always stops. There's always like a, a, a perimeter to it. The area of effect. <clears throat> and wherever this stuff is, bad things happen. Basically, as if the, the shard or whatever is leaking the energy has like a limited range. Perhaps not leaking, perhaps draining. Or draining. Draining mm -hmm. as much as it can reach. Well, you at said least affecting the, the area. The effects, they are a, a, a withering, a removing of. Drives drives think creatures mad. Oh. The the presence of the Shadowfell does have a similar effect. Those who spend too much time there have been known to lose their minds to despair. 
Mm. Oh, if only I were. If only I had a sample. A sample of what? Anything. Anything touched by this. This effect. Mm. Oh. Like the dead guy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Well, perhaps that can be arranged. What do you mean? Um, on, on our way here, we were attacked by an assailant who, within a wood elf who, within his veins, seemed to have a fighting the trees and the dryads. I would need to see this. Where is he? Last I saw him was when the guards was when we were attacked and the guards intervened. I will make arrangements to meet with members of staff and see about arranging this use of the teleport circle. Anything you could bring me in the meantime would be incredibly useful. I think perhaps I can make arrangements to have the, the shard placed under a seal here for the time being if you believe it is at risk. Well, I, that would be great. Um, do you, well, I, I think we should, I think we're going to have to consider this as a group, really. What do you guys think? Yeah, you guys can, you guys can, in character, out of character, whatever, discuss. The shard, is, the shard is causing us basically trouble on a daily basis whenever whenever we sleep. It probably would be for the best. And here, I mean, it would be be under, nice. it, here it would be under greater guard. You also it know is. how easy it is it can be located now that the seal has ended. And yeah. you've already yeah, experienced was... the effects of that. Like, on one hand, I'm, I feel like it's a great idea, but on the other hand, you got assaulted by an assassin trying to but presumably was linked to the shark <coughs> yeah well, he did just say that there would be some sort of words placed on it if it was kept here right yeah but like yeah. before heard... you put the i assume it's a static ward so once you put up the ward you, if they know the last location of they will, the they will certainly shard. investigate the last known location but if you don't put it behind a ward they know exactly where you are at all times yeah I mean, it's... So they for, all they, for all they know, the last known location might not be our current location. I almost feel like it's it's better to have it, like, un under guard than it is to ward it. It'll be warded and under guard. It's in, yeah, it's in the vicinity of the elven capital, in a place that has its own guard, as well as the guards of the capital, as well as being crammed full of people who know magic. It's pretty well guarded here. Well, I guess we'll. I guess we'll have just have to have faith in your system. Well, you might want to warn that we somebody has tried to come for the shard already. And yeah. Well, I'm assuming when you told him about the assailant, that's what that's what he gathered from it. Yeah, but I meant more meant like warn that the. You might want to give a heads up to security that uh, I don't know what kind of artifacts you keep there, and I'm just, I assume it's a secret. Uh, yeah, he 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 nods and says, um, without saying too much, um, we do have a vault here at the academy that um, houses certain artifacts of power that uh, should not fall into the wrong hands. Oh. Well, I guess you should be able to... Then I guess you could take care of it in the meanwhile. Anybody, any objections? Anything? <coughs> uh, will you be needing the Silverwood box? Uh, he... He looks at the, 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 the shard and says, um, uh, 
No, the the, the seal is is long faded. Then can we <clears throat> can we have the box back? He hands you the box. Awesome. Um, if we're done, talk about this on an unrelated uh, matter. If I was to need to have a message sent via these teleporters, would I, where would I go? I assume they have a separate one for matters like that. Um, we we don't tend to use teleport circles for, for messaging purposes. There, we we do have ways of sending messages over long distances if they are urgent. E. Well, I would like. Well, where would I go if I need a message sent? Not necessarily um, urgent, but have one sent. Uh, if it's if it isn't urgent, then um, there are members here at the tower who could. Um, Range to have a sense. They do charge, although their uh, rates are quite reasonable. I'm happy to pay a charge. I'll, I'll ask at the desk. At the front. We can arrange to have that sent back as well. I gesture to the box. Uh, perhaps... Oh, I was thinking, perhaps we can... Can you reapply wards to the box, like before we leave? Could that be done? I mean, why? Or is the it's not going to have the waste shot in it anymore? No, but, no, but like, once we do leave, when um, you do leave, you'll need something to store it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or we could try and find a better container in the meanwhile. But something yeah, we could use. Because I don't think we're going to get anything. At least not for free here. Uh, yeah, he he, uh, he sort of shakes his head <laughs> and says, uh, I, I'm not aware of anything we have that would be certainly portable for your use. Um, I can certainly have the wards reapplied. It's no trouble, well, although... Think- you would suffer the same problems you had before, where the the ward fades over a period of time. Well, hopefully that period of time will be enough to either dispose of the ward or of the crystal, or just give us some briefing room. I think that is certainly all you could hope for. Oh, out of character. Are we done? Are we done? Think so. <clears throat> yeah, basically, we, we uh, like if you're if you guys have done that, basically, this is basically where the the story is going to end for now. Yeah. So as we're leaving, I'm just saying, like, yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah. I ass- oh, yeah, and I assume we just we contact you w- w- when we leave t- in order to retrieve it. Uh, yeah. He he basically says, um, I I I will make the the ne- necessary arrangement, and I will. Uh, contact you. It it uh, it will probably take at least until midday tomorrow to to sort something out. Oh, that's well. I think we should probably take a day off. I I if you tell me where it is that you are you are staying, I can have word sent to you. We've been staying in the the hole in the wall down in the <clears throat> district. He nods. Thank you very much for your help. Yeah, he, he nods and says, um, I'm sorry I could not uh, provide more good news. I, I give him a bro nod. Quote a meant. Yep, I there was going to say, we haven't had one this session, guys. Uh, and it's right near the end. Ariel's been too angry to bro nod. I yeah. know! <laughs> I'm so mad. So mad. So and then I got shot. Yeah, I guess as, as, as we're leaving, I'm like, I stick around at the front desk to be like, you know, kind of a message sent. You probably know what I'm trying to send. Uh, I think I, I don't know specifically, but I know vaguely what you want to send. Um, I want to send a letter to my mother, goddammit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> if if you want a message sent sort of like that way, they, um, depending on how quickly you want it sent, it will, it will cost you anywhere between five and ten gold. I guess ten gold being the fastest. Ten gold being the fastest. Yeah, I'll just go with that. Spend ten gold. Yeah. Um, what time of day is it? Yeah. I don't know. 
I'm not going to say it, but let's just say the sun is pretty high in the sky. <laughs> wow. It's high! It's high! <laughs> it's high um, dudes. Could I oh. perhaps ask if there's any sort of records of, mm, let's say, old temples and stuff in the area or further? Uh... This is a... This is a... I don't know if that you, would be a thing that... You they... can... You can certainly take a look at... Uh, cartography records. Okay. Uh, that will have to happen next session because I'm yeah. not prepared for that. That's a, that's a big thing no, as well. <laughs> uh, but also, like, I guess as, as a last thing, other than our little recreation stuff, which might happen, who knows? Um, what, could I, like, after I've had the, arranged to have the message sent, could I go to the market district and attempt to find a jeweler's of some of some description? Yeah, sure. I know this is a lot, but can I also try to talk to Arya? Sure. Um, does anybody have to rush off? My only question, because I'm aware it's 5 to 11. I could probably do, like, another half an hour. Okay, so... so about, shall about, we... half a, about half 11, I should really... Shall we resolve... Shall we resolve Vondal's little RP first, then we can sign you off for the evening. Uh, and then if you need to go, you can just leave. Okay. Okay. So, everyone keep a track of what it is that you want to do. Uh, whilst Vondal, you go to the market, and we can stop the dancehall music. Good. Uh, what are we going to play? Let us play... New Tristram from Diablo 3 Center. No, that's too suspicious. <laughs> let's play. Let's go back to the good old Green Forest. Okay, cool. But well, you go out into the market district. What are you looking for? A jeweler. A jeweler. There is almost a certainly a jeweler there. Yeah, it's, it's just a small thing. Let's see if I can get something solid. <coughs> if I go to a jewel, it's probably the best place to go. What do you want? And I'll tell you uh, something about it. Dri well, I'll, actually, I'll sell something. Because remember the, uh, that ring that I got given back in Hatcher's Cross? Oh yeah, okay, you want you want to you wanna pawn some goods, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's the sell a ring. Uh, yeah, what is the estimated value on that? Uh, 100, 100 gold. Uh, yeah, okay, make me a persuasion check, and I'm gonna roll some dice. Okay. Um, persuasion 14, okay. They are willing to buy the ring off you for ninety percent of the retail value. So ninety gold. Yes. It, if it was, it was a hundred gold. It was worth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So ninety gold. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Cool. You sell the ring. Anything else you're looking for whilst you're there? Um, no, no, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Cool, okay. So I guess I go back looking for companions. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys you guys all sort of like browse around the market district while Vondal goes to do this if anyone else wants to look at anything in the market district. Um, would they happen to have olives? Olives? <clears throat> yeah, just for fun. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll have a, I'll have a jar of olives. Okay. Well then. Deduct one gold. Odd. Oh, I'll explain it later. This is just giving me really, really terrible flashbacks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was exactly why I did it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's ignore that. Wow. Well... Yeah. That's that is a reference to another campaign that we played in. So. Oh God. Moving swiftly on. 
Yeah. Anybody else looking for anything in the marketplace? Anybody looking just what's in the market in general? Sure, I'll have a look around. Cool. <clears throat> uh, yeah, basically there, there is vendors <coughs> for pretty much everything, but the things that particularly catch your eye is there is a uh, an elven weapons vendor who is selling uh, non-magical plus one light and medium armor. Oh, oh shit. Hello. Magical armor. Non-magical armor, but it is plus non one. Non-magical, but it's still better. It's like it's like your sword. Yeah. Yeah. Which would it would increase your armor class by one to purchase it. Uh and that retails I presume you want to buy this you're looking to buy the same sort of armor that you already have. Mm hmm So if I shift that over there quick tell you what the sell value of that is. I also have some things to sell, I just realized. Uh yeah, if you guys want to go to the Gilded Lion, you can sell yeah. e like basically all of the junk and I will tell you how much it will go for. Okay. So uh leather armor. Uh plus one non magical leather armor will set you back uh du -du 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 -du. fourteen gold. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty that's cheap, actually. Bad. 14 for plus one. Oh, I guess because it's not magical, but... Damn. Yeah, it... That doesn't offer you sort of, like, any... Like, massive increase in protection. It's literally just plus one. Hmm. Oh, uh, wait, sorry. That's, that's 14 plus the base value, so that's 24, actually. My mistake. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wait then. <clears throat> Twenty-four gold isn't too bad, still. I mean, you can sell your junk and then come back. Yeah. You've just noticed that there is some armor that you might be able to wear that would be yeah. better for you. Uh, so yeah. Uh, what what is the val what is the sum total value of the junk you're trying to sell? Are you? I have. Because um, you've got you're carrying quite a lot, I think. Yeah, I think Grim has some stuff as well. Mask no, I I never got gold. any of it. Three paintings worth twenty five gold. One chimerite worth fifty gold. One sandonyx. Oh, sardonyx, yeah. Sardonyx, uh, which is forty gold. That's it. <laughs> That's two hundred and fifteen altogether. Sure. Hello. Okay, uh, so roll me a persuade check, or if you want to get somebody else to sell it, somebody else can roll it. Who else has higher charisma? I do, and also I have four lantern bottles, oil bottles. Oh yes, you can sell those as well. You want to roll that persuade check, Kalena, that'd be awesome. Don't, don't blame me if this goes horribly wrong. <laughs> I will try Already blamed. We will not, don't no. worry. Oh, oh wow. wow! Okay. <laughs> Well, thank God. Uh, so that is eighty percent of retail value. Eighty. Yes. Wow. I'm trying nice. to figure. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to remember in my head how you work that out now. Mathematics, boys. Well, to be fair, it's a pawn shop. You can drop off anything, so it makes sense. So the rates aren't as well, great. Well, it's. I can't remember how you do percentages either now. Oh my god, we need somebody who's good at math. Who's good at math? Wait, what's, what's the number? What is, yeah, what is the, the 80% total? 80% of 215. 80% of 215, 215, yeah. 215. Just do times 80, divide by 100. Come on, guys. Oh yeah, uh, just do times 0.8, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah. 172. We're trying to do mental math. It doesn't work. Well, you, the, you, you're, you're working in Roll Twenty, which is a massive calculator program. <laughs> Does that have a calculator thing? Boom. 
172 gold. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm just amazed that I have Aria, you take zero all loot. Okay. I don't want any money. Oh, hang on. Uh, and that is uh, an extra 18 gold for the lantern oil bottles. Okay. Oh, wow. So in total, hmm. I have 229 gold now. Cool. So, yeah, you can easily spend that uh, 24 gold for your uh, plus one uh, lever. Plus one non magic lever. Okay, do that then. Yeah, cool. The only so thing I have is that... a spell book, but I'm pretty sure that's not worth anything. Should have given it to the library. Yeah, let's... for a thrust. Yeah, we'll be back. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, you've got to go back next week for Kalaris anyway, so let's delete your leather armor. Yay. Yep. And add... Uh. <coughs> you okay, Luca? Leather I'm armor. slowly dying. Luca's actually dying. Please Rip. don't do that. Rip, I don't Luca. know why I'm coughing so much today, but I really am. Congratulations, Arya, you now have AC 15. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Da -da 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 -da. We're less dying. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully. Less dying potential. Hopefully. I still need to talk to Arya. Uh, yes, so... Um, if you predict that's going to take less than 20 minutes, then go for it. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to basically say to Arya and Sylvan to like come with me in a sec. Okay. <clears throat> okay Technically, I, I can talk to this with basically everyone. But I'm choosing Arya. I was gonna say, none of us, none of them can understand what we're saying if we're talking in Sylvan. Yeah, but kind of, I don't know. It's fine. We can just go somewhere. Let's go back to the tree. The tree is my friend. <laughs> it's in the no, middle wait, of the market. This is the wrong soundtrack. <laughs> Amazing. I filled with elves where people speak Sylvan. Yeah. So she's gonna sort of like. Not really look at Arya, but look at the tree instead, and just go, sort of go like, um, "I'm sorry, I, I ran away last time when I, when I thought of something reckless. So, I guess this time I should say it instead." Oh, <gasps> this is the moment. <laughs> Are we going to be friends? There's a rave shard in my grove. I can't go with you guys. I have to go home. As much as I understand your motivations, I don't know if that's the best idea. I'm not sure... Your family is suffering. I know your family is suffering, but I... I think it might be better if we all went with you. We don't know what these shards are capable of, and we... I mean, that assassin today clearly showed that those... Assassin pursued... won't know where I'm going. I know, but... Once you get there, there's no telling what will be waiting for you. But I, I can't leave it there anymore. I know, I'm, that's if, why if I'm saying I'd, we if I'd should known go with you. If I'd known there in the first place, I, I would have never left. <laughs> and then comes the question, what are you going to do with it when you find it? I don't know, take it away? I, I think it would be better for us to go with you retrieve it and bring that shard back here so we can destroy both of them at the same time but it'll, because... it'll take weeks of travel again <sighs> I mean we can ask the others I, as far as our quest goes I mean this is kind of the end of the line until we can find a way to destroy the shards so it wouldn't be that big of a deal you might even learn something from your family I just, I hope that nobody else is already suffering from this. Can I like put my hand on her shoulder and be like, I hope that as well. Hugs. <laughs> Hugs. I'm so emotional. We're actually having a best moment. Alright, let's go back to the guys. Alright. When we get back, um, I guess we should bring it up. You want to 
go back to your grove, see mm -hmm. what they say. Just be glad that you handled that properly, Luca, because fuck, <laughs> he has a teleport spell. Uh, oh, scroll. I know! <laughs> I mean, that's the logical step. I thought we were gonna- I, like, I was gonna suggest that, honestly, next session myself, if, if someone else can <laughs> say that. I was just like, like, if you had been like, fuck off, if you would have been like, cool, I have a teleport scroll, I'm, scroll, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but I mean, like, where else are we gonna go at the moment? Like, we really have no leads, we have no location we need really to go to. I don't to. know, I don't know where the others wanted to teleport to, people were talking about teleport circles. Who? Uh, Vondal was trying to get a message out, I don't know if he was trying to teleport somewhere. No, Grim was. Oh, well, no, Grim I wanted to try and get us to the Shadowfell to destroy things. Yeah, oh, exactly. right. Oh, yeah. And the potential was that he, that the order that the essentially the cult, he could the professor could organize teleportation to one of the other uh, like right. one of the strongholds that the place has. Yes, because to get closer to one of these weakenings to, where they could pass into the Shadowfell. To clarify, basically the um, the professor's logic is um, you guys you guys need to go to the Shadowfell to be able to destroy this thing. You cannot do it here, because you will end up smack bang in the middle of the Evernight. Yeah. You need to be somewhere else. His idea was that using the teleport circles, he could send you somewhere where the... Uh, where you can find a location where the Shadowfell is weak. He does not know that personally. He's going to communicate with the others. The more information you can bring him on things in the meantime, the more he will get out of being able to suggest where you should go. Mm -hmm. That's why I think it makes logical sense to find another race shard. Maybe it will reveal something else. Yeah. Um, v, like, I... Uh, in, in your passion, your, your thought process makes perfect sense, but the more you think about it as well, you... You know that there's more locations than just your home that's being affected by this, and there's you're pretty sure that out there there's places that aren't that are being affected that you have no idea about, and the thought in your mind, like uh, the thought at the forefront of your mind is, is it is it faster to go home and spend time trying to find if there is a shard, if there even is a shard. Because at the moment it's just a theory. Mm. Or do you go straight to the, see what you can find and go straight to the source? Yeah. I don't know if we're ready to go to the Shadowfell, uh, personally. I think we'll get our asses handed to us on a silver platter. <laughs> as long as we don't go there for combat and we, have, we keep an escape route open, we should be able to pull it off. <laughs> you also need to find a powerful holy force to destroy it with. Yeah, which yes. we currently are not in possession of. If only you had a, an ancient magical artifact sword. That wasn't yeah, horribly I cursed. Mean, currently is not really holy. Completely, at least. Not as holy as we'd like it to be. No, not at all. I can't believe the stories are intertwined. I know, it's I almost like believe it. it's almost like Rob <laughs> it's almost like Rob planned this from the start. It's almost like this is all oh. connected. It's almost as if I'm mm -hmm. weaving five independent threads into one tapestry. Gasp. Mm. Damn. But yeah, I don't know. It's <sighs> on one side V definitely wants to go home and just fix this shit that she set out to fix, but like on the other hand more people are suffering. <laughs> and it makes her sad. Aww. So, in the interests of looking to wind up, I understand there's a couple of things you guys want to do next session. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you guys what your sort of target aims are for next session. Like, individually, and then we'll get them written down. And I'll come back to you next session with basically, like, the fruits of your research. So, you guys want to try and f you guys want to go to the guard and try and find the body. Is yeah. That correct. Yeah. <clears throat> Kalaris wants to go to the library. 
I mean, essentially. Or anywhere that would have information about potential. Bas basically looking for the more uh, temples or, um, you know. Yeah. Any, any mention of the temples, any maps, mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. Uh, which you're most likely to find at the academy. Yeah, I figured. Uh, Bondal, what's your aim for next session? Um, if you have a specific one. Not a specific one at the moment. Grim? Uh, nothing. Perhaps have to look at the market to see if there's anything else, anything worth looking at, but that's about it. Spend, spend your downtime wisely. Yep. Cool. Uh, Aya, is there anything you want to particularly do? Not really. I mean, I guess there's really no one else who knows anything about, like, the Shadowfell. So, not really. No, okay, cool. It's fine if you don't have a specific aim, because obviously you're you're all walking working towards the party aim anyway. Yeah. Uh, but I understand that, like, basically, Kalaris and V have things that they kind of want to achieve, because... So, yeah, V, I, I, I understand your, your overall aim, but is there anything specific you want to try and aim for next session that I can give you feedback on? I don't think so. Not anything that I can really think of right now, anyway. Oh, okay, um... If you think of something, because I know, like, there's a lot of character development to sort of think through right now, if you want to come back to me, then we can... ...work on that. Cool. Right, so I've got some things to work on next time, as well as the party aims. Nice. Excellent! Right, well... Let's do some recapping. Uh, yeah, recapping. Uh, I was almost going to say back capping. Like, yeah. watch. Let's do some back capping. <laughs> back capping oh. is the best. Drink. Some somebody run distractions and the other people get on the payload. Yep. <sighs> right. The, payload, the payload moves like, like, a, like a stone. stone. <laughs> right. Let's have creepy assassin music whilst. What? Uh, I need a volunteer. A volunteer from the audience. A volunteer from the participants to tell me what did you learn? Well, you feel? I, I will go first. I have. Oof, as a player? Oof. <coughs> <sighs> Holy shit. Like, as a player, I'm really learning. Like, I guess from the encounters we've had so far with various people, I really am learning. Like, how much like it's it's definitely not like a video game where everyone like instantly knows oh my god you're a legendary hero it's like right from the get-go these people are still suspicious of us they know nothing of us they don't know anything about us and frankly they couldn't give a shit some people you haven't so it's it like yet. well yeah exactly we haven't quite done enough to be at the point where we basically believe it was like this we are still at a point where we have to be a bit careful and, like, yeah, the encounters we've had with guards and stuff like that. And, of course, the assassin just coming out of nowhere and the guards just thinking, well, we don't know these people, we don't know what the fuck's going on. We, we just see a wood elf dead, what's going on? Like, that kind of thing is, like, it really, it's really kind of putting into perspective that there's a lot, there's a, there's a big world. And we haven't had quite that much of an impact on it yet. Um, Vandal, <sighs> he's had quite the day, <laughs> not quite the last two days. Like, like all of that information just then has probably completely overwhelmed him. Like, he's really struggling with what? could be done. It's basically what I'm gathering. He just doesn't 
he's not quite sure what needs to be like what what kind of impact he can have if he doesn't know what he needs to do that will be the best solution for all involved he's if anything he's panicking almost and he's just internally panicking about all of the events that have gone on so far okay interesting you have a highlight Uh, the fact that Aya didn't fucking die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good highlight. Just fucking mm. took a barbed crossbow bolt to the chest that was covered in poison and just kind of just fell to one knee and kept fighting anyway. It's pretty fucking badass. So yeah, there we go. We'll go with that. That's my highlight. Sure. Okay. Take 900 experience. Oh, that's a lot. That is oh, a lot. Jesus. Mm. I'm, I'll let you in on a secret. The assassin was a challenge rating eight encounter. Wow. Oh my eight. god. And I three feeling, of us kicked his butt. I had a feeling that I was just like, I feel like this is too easy for like one guy. He probably, sh but he's not. <laughs> I feel like Ferris might be rolling shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. He did. He didn't get a lot of great rolls, but you guys. You guys were supposed to have, like, it was supposed to be a street brawl. You guys were supposed to get the upper hand once he'd broken stealth. But he was always sort of supposed to bring one of you down critically low and, like, basically force you guys to panic react to the situation. Because that's what but it was that designed didn't to happen. do. <laughs> I mean, it kind of did. did. Sort of. Yeah. My first in I'm sorry, but Vondos, my first instinct was just drag you around the corner, get you to safety, because I don't know what the fuck's going on. There could be any number of them out there, for all I knew. So my first thought was, get you to safety. I rolled max on initiative, so I was just like, nope, he's ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that entangle kind of, uh, it, it took a whole round of his actions as well, because he, uh, once he'd seen, like, Aya take a significant amount of damage, he would have basically moved in on Aya and taken, like, pot shots at the rest of you whilst uh, moving in. Mm. Yeah. Um, but he never really got a chance. No, he didn't. Yeah, 900 experience to Vondal, and who wants to go next? Roll up, roll up, for a chance at 900 experience. I, I, wow. <laughs> oh, I guess I could go next. Sure. Um, as a player, um, if, uh, let's, what, I, what would I say as a player? It is, it's, it's nice to, to it's interesting to see how the, party kind of splits up into like the same groups uh, every time or commonly um and i really i'm really getting uh well really getting more of that feel for asking more questions to the npcs because they actually know stuff <laughs> or at least well if you keep on asking you will eventually get somewhere with a little bit of luck. Mm -hmm. um, I think I was as as a player. That's the main aspect. As Grim, um, Grim, may have, uh, I think Grim is realizing that uh, is realizing more and more how this thing really. It's it's getting bigger and bigger, or at least the picture is just getting huge now. <clears throat> because it was like kind of like okay, it might be connected, and now there's like it's now we're more and more certain, and yeah. everybody has had connected dreams, or at least almost everybody. And um, yeah, so. I mean, I like how you blame me for that, but it's just we V keeps rolling really well on wisdom saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't blame you. <laughs> Just to let you know. I've, I've not had to make some, because everyone kept the shard away from me. Yeah. As the most pro as a powerful I mean, so magic you, user. You can't blame me. <laughs> uh, you, you're just going to have to run off with the crystal again. 
don't. No, that, that happened Just once, don't. and it was a dumb idea. <laughs> yeah. And you um, kind of woke up an entire town. But like, dumb ideas making... get you exposition. <laughs> yeah. And um, intense, angsty character moments with character development that intense. makes us all cry. Yeah, let, let, let's, let's, let's go back to, to Mini, bro. Yeah. Uh, so you can fill uh, yeah, I'm actually not quite sure what else you should think of. Well, it was... Uh... Oh, actually, as a player, it was interesting having, like, the first real conflict. What I felt I had to go through with it, mm. as a Grim. Because he really needed that reassurance. Yeah. Even if it pissed off uh, Arya quite a bit. Yep. Yeah. It's... it's... It's it's interesting to have interparty conflicts like that. It's, uh, as long as they don't slow the game down or become difficult, I think I think it was reflective as well because the the two of you had basically been the roughest off out of all of the people who've been carrying this shard over time, and I I feel like it was in character for the way both of you acted. So, congrats! Well, well, well done on that. For, for both of you negotiating that in a way that you didn't actually end up yelling at each other as people. Yeah. <clears throat> That's harder to do than it than you might think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Last time you yelled at oh. me, Luca. I didn't <laughs> mean to! I'm so sorry! Oh. Look, we had to keep our voices down. People were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> You're like in the ne room next door, I assume. Oh well. I just like that you, uh, you came to blows over it, and because Aya rolled in that one, I was just like, yep, that shit's going on the floor. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, basically yeah. made it a lot easier for me. <laughs> like, getting it, opening the box is one thing. Op like, uncovering the crystal, that's, that's like the next step. That's way harder to excuse. Yeah. Even, even though oh, you, yeah. You, you played no part in the fight, you may have 900 experience. Oh well, I'm so lucky. <laughs> wow, it, I, 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 as the dungeon master, split you not through any choice of your own. So it's it wouldn't be fair for me to say you didn't take part in the fight, so you don't get any experience. Yeah, that's nice. Who's next? Uh, I'll do it, I guess. I mean, yeah. Rogues. I don't know. Every time, the sort of what have you learned as a player thing gets harder. <laughs> um, it's kind of the thing. I think it's actually quite fun when we split up. <laughs> yes. Like when when Kalaris and Grim were just delivering the letter, which didn't really go anywhere for now. Um, Nobody asked any questions. <laughs> they didn't ask any questions. We weren't even there. Yeah. Um, we. we but it was like it was private. No question was were supposed to be asked, and I well respected that. And I was like, "Well, yeah." And he didn't have any very weird reaction to it, so yeah. Like sense. if he had had a concerned reaction, I would have asked, which is what I originally did because I misinterpreted what Ferris said. But yeah. it was just a ah, I know this. I need. I know what I need to do now. It was not a oh, what what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was I thought it was kind of fun to just have a little battle with uh, Arya and V and yeah, and Vondal. Also, the Nat twenty on <laughs> initiative. I was just like, hell yeah. <laughs> um. Also, I thought it was kind of kind of fun actually to hear Arya and Grim bicker. <laughs> 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 I was just like, yeah, let's go. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fight, fight. Um. <laughs> No, I thought it was really, really fun. Um, I don't know what I've learned, though. I'm just talking about what I like. Uh... I mean, yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be something you learned. It's like, I learned that I really enjoyed this. Yeah, and, and I don't know. The, the, the whole city life in general is quite fun. Um, v is very much out of her elements, but that's part of what makes it hilarious. Yeah. Uh... And yeah, what does V learn as a character? I think she's right now a little bit like... I don't know, because she, for the most part, hadn't heard of any of the other people's dreams, or the skull guy, or like, she knew something about the Shadowfell and like the Rave Shard. But now it's all coming together, and she kind of feels like 
she started out on a quest to be like, I'm gonna save my mom, and suddenly like the entire universe is in danger, and she's like, I feel like I'm a little bit, this is all going a little bit over my head. Yeah. And there's a part of her that just wants to finish her quest, cure her mom, or like, fi like fix those problems and be done with it. But like, at the same time, she knows she can't really do that. So I don't know. It's almost as if there's something at the core of your being pulling you on to, to do oh, greater no. things. Oh no. <laughs> um, like when you touch the tree. Fundamental interconnectedness of all things. Yup. That's definitely a thing. But then the guards were just like, don't touch the tree. Fuckers. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So, I don't know, but yeah. If he definitely learned, she was just like, I kind of want to go home. But I can't just leave, because when I did that last time, it was kind of bad. At first I was sort of thinking about talking to Vondal about it, but then I was just like, Arya's the one who got really angry, so I should probably talk to Arya instead. And we had a bonding moment! Hello. Hooray! You're yeah. finally... Shit, it's, like, it's like we're actually so friends hard. now! <laughs> it took you it until took season so fucking two to yeah. actually fulfill your character <laughs> dynamic. Cries. Look, it takes time. I just want to be friends! <laughs> But yeah, that was it was it was good. Enjoyed it. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. That leaves two. Snoozy lose, go. Uh, okay, I'll go. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh so care uh player. Um yeah, <laughs> I, I seem to keep getting myself into these places where I have to fight with someone. <laughs> Your um, character, Luca! I know it's my character. Be, it's... be that physical or emotional. <laughs> yes, and so it's it's always an interesting experience doing that, because I always feel like such a jackass <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. But it's perfectly in character. Yeah, I mean, it's in character, but it's... It's always an interesting experience. I think this time was a little bit easier. Um, because it wasn't as intense, I feel. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, yeah last time was definitely more intense. Yeah, last time yeah. was pretty intense. Um... So... Yeah. That was... My thing, is that fighting is hard. Well, physical fighting is easy. Uh, <laughs> mental fighting is not. That's, um, why, that's why I play self-centered egomaniacs, because I don't have to roleplay. Wow. wow. <laughs> you're, you're a dick. Uh, and in terms of character... Yeah, Arya was... she was kind of rough this episode. Yep. Yeah. She, she had a lot of shit to deal with. And there wasn't a lot of happiness for her, <laughs> because... And I think just, like, the constant strain of having the wraith glass on her was like really wearing her down it reminded me a lot of harry potter in the seventh book yeah. the horcrux um whistles yeah that's that's wow. kind of what i was like side eyes at rob but so that was kind of nice i enjoyed playing that because i mean personally this week's been a shitty week for me so i'm just like yes let mm. me be angsty um <laughs> So it gave me kind of an outlet, which was nice. But I did enjoy me and uh, V's little talk. I think it. I think she really respected V for coming to her and being like, "Yo, this is kind of like what I'm thinking about doing," because it showed that she had grown since she just impulsively ran off the last time. <laughs> so I think she has a new level of respect for her, and uh, hopefully that continues to grow yeah tiny tears tiny tears I'm it so only took proud. two seasons <laughs> god this is what Ooh, i wanted it was all so long. hard to be friends i know <laughs> i mean it's it's basically season three like the moment you guys decide what your your strategy is for for moving forward two it will be season whole three seasons. two whole seasons <laughs> 
you it's believe? like in the season finale, you finally made up. Yeah. <laughs> you were literally better friends in the the non canonical pre season episode. I, I think about that a lot. I'm like, like so great. Well, better friends in the pilot. We hadn't ex- established the whole character dynamic yet. Yeah. And we hadn't had that moment where he runs away. <laughs> cool. Yeah. 900 experience. And last but not least, Buff Dragon Waifu. Hello. <laughs> um. Oh man, yeah, the the player, like, learning as a player gets harder every week, it's true. Um, I think a lot of it was just information that was being given, well, given, quote-unquote, to us this week. Because I wrote so much shit down, it's it's kind of insane. Like, my entire page is just full of scribbles, uh, tiny little scribbles. Um, but I think it's, it's always interesting when the party ends up splitting. Um... And I, I was genuinely really worried. I thought Arya was gonna go down with that hit because I was, Same. I was really scared for for them fighting um, that assassin. Uh, but of course, not being able to do anything was. I was just like, well, hopefully nobody dies. Yep. Hopefully that goes well. But I think that that went really well. I think that was that was really. Um, I was impressed as like me, Jay. I was like, damn, that was those were good roles and stuff, <laughs> and circumstances and all that jazz um uh, as Kalaris, um i mean the whole fact that it seems like dreams have like were connected they were there were similar things the whole fire and ash and things going and burning and shit is not sitting well with her at all um and she really wants to be able to get to the bottom of this stuff soon or you know as soon as possible and part of the reason that she um, that she is going to try and ask the people at the academy about uh, temples is hopefully being able to find another artifact. Um, hopefully, you know, the next one isn't going to be cursed to shit. Mm. Uh, and, you know, it'll be properly holy to some extent, which might be, you know, useful for when, I'm assuming it's not a, it's a when and not an if we go to the Shadowfell. Um, Seeming more and more like a when. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, artifacts and stuff. Because that cursed sword ain't going to be given any holy power anytime soon. <laughs> um, but yeah. Relatively short. Um, but I also liked just to witness seeing Arya and Grimm have their little... Not gonna lie, it was kind of amazing. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. So witnessing that was amazing. That's just a side note. But awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Take your take your nine hundred experience. And with that, we come to the conclusion of yet another episode. Uh, Like to thank everyone for playing as usual. I'd like to thank everyone who watches for watching. And, yeah, I really look forward to next session, because this is going to be the first time you guys have ever sort of just been in a city with time to burn. You guys can literally let your hair down, and I really think some of you need it. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, yes. Argentellerin's delights are your oyster. Next time. Oh, boy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.